Justin. down to get that 
$400 a day and $60 a period is the difference between someone who does not graduate from high school and someone who does graduate from high school in their lifetime earnings is about $300,000 difference. $300,000. That's enough to buy a house in a lot of places, not in California. But if you, you can, can buy two in LA. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And divide it by the number of days in the school year, uh, in over the four years, that it does break down to four hundred dollars a day, which is about what some of our teachers make, and sixty dollars per period. That's and you're not going to get paid until it's done. It's all going to be in your future earnings. So I do convince them, you know, say it's financially rewarding. It's going to be uh, meaningful for you to finish. And that's my reader went to jail. When I did that statistic in a staff development, everybody was just blown away. And I put it out there. I will come and give this talk to your SSR class to convince them to use that time reading. Because reading is the best way that you can increase your skills to finish high school and to uh, do well on the test. So uh, here's my jail books. These are all books that were on Quick Picks, um, I think, two years ago. About jail, Secret Saturdays, good behavior is a really good memoir about a, kid, a guy who goes to jail and what it's like living there. Lockdown, Walter D. Myers, Rikers High, Paul Volkman. Uh, this um, Solitary Escape from Furnace is a series that starts out with Lockdown, Solitary, and Death Sentence. is a super intense adventure. It's on the Scholastic Book Fair, um, and it's really good for your boys who want uh, an adventure. Alrighty then, so am I out of time? Yeah, I just had a question. How do you get on the Quick Picks Committee if you wanted to actually? How do you get on it? Um, every year in, I think it's about August or September, they um, open up the volunteer form and you have to go in, you have to volunteer, put down your qualifications. Um, and then they pick, um, usually every year there's probably about half the committee goes off, and so there's maybe six spots each year. Um, sometimes they say if you've done a process committee before that, um, that you can um, have a better chance, uh, but really if you know someone, <laughs> that yeah. helps. And, um, but honestly, a lot of people can't afford it because, like I said, I spend $2,000 a year and conference fees and, and room and board. Oh, you have, like to, you have to go to all the conferences. And you have to. You commit, you're committed to go to the conference. Yes, you have to. You have to attend. And so um, fewer and fewer people are volunteering because they can't afford it. So if you're going to put out the money, you have a good chance. Um, so. And then, of course, it's also being on YALSA. Well, you have to be a YALSA member. Yeah, you have to be an ALN member, and you have to be a YALSA member. And there's a bunch of committees that you can volunteer for, write graphic novels. Um, Quick picks, best fiction, um, but the reading level, or reading demands are really intense. I mean, I read 200 books on quick picks, best fiction, I think they read something like 300, but it's insane. Uh, great graphic novels is a much slower pace, I think we're up to like maybe 30 or 40 books so far. Uh, it's a lot slower of a pace. So um, I do have some more um, giveaways. So, um, here's my read or go to jail bookmark. Anybody wants it? I, mean, just, I have them for everybody. Um, this is my bookmark for uh, advertising our databases. Most of our passwords aren't good anymore, so don't think you're using them because we can't pay for those services anymore. Um, do you get money from your district to do all this printing? Or that's, it's your own? It's all. Um, well, the bookmarks they let me print. I mean, I do that. Um, this is a really cool series that was a quick thing. My boys fought over this one because it's shaped like a football and every other page is a full-size picture. And then the soccer one. Soccer's really big, really popular. It even has, like, biographies of these players like Pele in there. Here you go. Anybody just get texting on their phone? <laughs> like me. I just got texting on my phone. Who loves to text? Who would parents text? Oh. Anybody in school right now taking tests? 
Who's doing testing right now? In the we library. just finished. No, no. <laughs> you're, you're doing testing in your library? That makes sense. Uh, some of the other things I have, read the movie. Who has not seen the Hunger Games yet? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. There's a read the movie book. Here's a read the movie book. Here's a read the movie book. Oh, I have you too. Um, I also do an issues book talk where I write on post-its like this, I'll switch, I'll switch with the what the issue is. And I already have a copy of this. Oh, I've got that this is two runaways. Who hasn't got a prize yet? This is having a mental breakdown. This is foster care. Who hasn't got a prize yet? <laughs>